Okay, excuse the mess in here, but um, I'm about to go do my first auto-tune session, and uh, I'm going to set it up before I take off. So first, I'm going to mount my phone right here. That's why I love this mount. It's so convenient. Got the phone mounted, and now let's turn the key, flip the switch in the run. And just so everybody knows, I'm recording with the Hero 7 right now. I feel like I need to tell y'all which camera I'm recording with since all of my recordings aren't done with my Insta360 yet because I'm still waiting on my mic adapter. Let me get the Wi-Fi linked up and then we'll um, move forward. I mean Bluetooth. This is sometimes the hard part with the FP3, that first connection. Okay, so as we can see, I'm finally in here. That's one of the things I hate about the FP3. Getting it connected sometimes is fidgety, which sucks, but it is what it is. That's the tuner I have, so that's the one I'm gonna have to use. So first I'm gonna view maps, I see that the current map I'm running is in slot four. So then I'm gonna go back, jump in auto tune. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing the quick setup and I'll be selecting slot four. It just disconnected. I'm not sure if y'all can see that, but I finally got into where I needed to be to start my auto tune session. So let me go grab my helmet and get ready to ride and we will uh, start this auto tune. Okay. All right, YouTube. I really need to get a pin lock. We got, I had to stop at the gas station real quick to get some petrol um, for us to do this auto tune session. Um, I'm gonna give y'all my thoughts on this FP3 tuner when it comes to auto tuning and everything like that as well during this ride. I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be. I'm gonna try to keep it short. Ah, oh, shit. I just forgot to, I don't wanna lose my phone. I had to unhook that for a second um, to start recording. Let me get a breath. Woo! I definitely need a, uh, a pin lock for this helmet. We're going to go out towards some country roads and tune this bike up. So, with the auto tune, which I'm going to put a screenshot of this right here on the screen so y'all can actually see it um, but with the auto tune it basically is trying to learn your front and rear cylinder while you ride the uh, air ratio and the air to fuel ratio and all that good stuff ah, I guess I found a better way to mount this Insta360 because it looks like it's not vibrating as much. Oh, what's up, dude? So, uh, yeah, um, the auto tune is supposed to get my 1250 conversion kit running at optimal levels, like just perfect. I mean, they give you a base tune, but no bike is gonna be the same depending on what parts you got on there or whatnot. So you're gonna have to auto tune your bike at some point. And for the auto tune to work properly, they want you to ride at a bunch of different riding conditions where you're adjusting your throttle different ways um, from minimal open to almost wide open. The tough part is I can't really go wide open during my auto tune session because I'm not supposed to go over 4,000 RPMs during the first 500 miles. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to do an auto tune now, which typically I'd say an auto tune would take three tanks of gas to get a good, good auto tune and be done with it. Then at the 500 mile mark, I'll do another auto tune so that that way I can get my wide open throttle um, fuel mixtures and fuel to air ratios and all that good stuff going on. But as you can see on the screen, basically when the cell turns green, the auto tune has learned your front and your rear cylinder. When the sail is yellow, it has learned one of the cylinders. So your goal is to get as many of these sails in green as possible. So I look at this as like a little video game for riding. Like you get out and ride and you're trying to get as much green on the board as possible. And the more green you get, <laughs> you win. So yeah. So we're going to go out where there's not a lot of traffic. So I can, you know, do different riding conditions and... Uh, open the throttle some, get to different RPM ranges and all that good stuff without just sitting in like, a, yeah, you know, dead stop traffic. Um, do I want to go straight? No, I'm going to turn right here, actually. 
and then go down and get on um, Alba Marzi. What's up, y'all? How's it going? <laughs> um, just waiting on this light, and then we'll, we'll we'll get to move it. Dang! So it looks like my bike temperature is at 273 right now. That shit is hot. Come on, air, cool it down. I'm wondering what is the optimal temperature for a Harley like when is it too hot I know that'd be too hot probably for a sports bike but this is an air-cooled machine but uh, one thing I know I want to do to the bike to help keep it cooler though is to um, give it a tank lift that gets more air flowing around your fins and your engine and everything like that in general so yeah I'm planning on doing a tank lift on here but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ride I'm gonna try to get as many of these puppies in the green as I possibly can um, and then when I get back home I'll flash it and then the next time I go out I'll do the same thing until this whole tank of gas is empty and probably until I do that three tanks of full gas but this ride's going to be somewhere around I'm going to do like 30 35 uh, minutes of riding maybe 40 just to see how how many of these cells I can I can turn green and it's a decent temperature right now it hasn't got too cold so the faster I go the hotter the bike temp gets which is weird I thought the air blowing over it would cool that puppy off guess not don't feel hot to me so I'm definitely noticing a power difference um, in the bike and a lot of diesel pop this thing sound like it's letting off grenades out the back but I'm noticing a big power difference, especially now that I got the FP3 hooked up and I can visually see what type of RPM range I'm at. Before, I was riding a little bit more sissified because uh, I thought I was up around the 4,000 RPM range when I, technically, obviously, I wasn't because I'm not even hitting 4,000 and I'm giving it more throttle than I have on previous occasions. Uh, these cars up front going extremely slow is not helping with the situation don't y'all know i'm trying to tune my bike get the hell out the way oh my god if i see these brake lights one more time i think i'm gonna have to go around these fools i ain't gonna have no choice oh my god like seriously what are you doing like four miles per hour this is just just ridiculous some people shouldn't be on the road that's my impressions and my and my thoughts and I, I really believe that like some people should just not drive a car I might end up having to open it up in a second because I want to get around them so my operating temperature looks like it's at 303 degrees that's pretty warm but I guess that's gonna happen when there's a whole bunch of little explosions going on within your engine how can I get around this fool Man, behind him this whole time ain't gonna work. Oh my god. Uh uh. I just can't do it. I really can't. I kinda didn't have a choice. They was getting on my nerves. My bike was getting too warm. I can't just sit behind them like that. Excuse the ignorance, y'all. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually shoot another moto vlog real quick once I get up here and um, then come back at the towards the end of the ride and finish this vlog because it's gonna take a while to get all the green up on there and I highly doubt y'all are gonna wanna hang with me through the entire process. So once I get up here, I'm gonna cut and it's gonna take like no time for y'all to see the end of the video once I got more green on here but yeah that's what I'm gonna do because I don't want to use up a ton of footage for 30 minutes and you know come on go green the one thing about doing this is <laughs> it's making me pay a lot of attention to that screen I'm paying a whole lot of attention to the screen because I want to see them turn green and I don't want to ride in a level that's already green for too long because I feel like that's pointless so I'm trying to get as many of those things green as possible and uh, I'm noticing that I keep riding in the same RPM range which ain't helping the situation but yeah 
I'm gonna cut this video and then I'm gonna cut back to the end and uh, I'm gonna shoot another because I got another topic I want to talk about real quick so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot that moto vlog real fast but uh, y'all will see the end of this video in a little bit peace all right so I've been riding now for about 35 minutes and I'm right at 30 miles from when I left not 30 miles from the house but 30 miles on the um about to hit 30 miles on the speedo and I think I've done pretty decent for um, getting some of the map filled out and what I've learned while doing this map is that before I was thinking that I couldn't really give it much throttle or I'll go over 4,000 rpms but what I've learned is depending on what gear you're in or whatnot and you can get this puppy full throttle and you'll be fine you won't end up going over um the rpm rating you just gotta shift and you know you just can't lay in it and hold it there forever or of course your rpms are gonna go up but you can you can actually lay into it and ride it and i have definitely felt the power that this thing puts out so yes i am very excited about my kit my 1250 kit and um i can't wait until i put 500 miles on this give it another oil change and give it its final tune but this was just going to be tune session number one make sure you subscribe to the channel to see the rest of my auto tune sessions as well as stay up to date on the steps or the process of breaking in my hammer performance 1250 kit and the other things that i plan to actually do to harley so make sure you hit the subscribe button hit that bell notification i do upload videos every tuesday and thursday but there are occasions where i'll throw an extra video out here or there there or here sometimes they'll be out there you know random 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 occasions um, but make sure you hit that thumbs up comment below and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one it's your boy infinite rider signing out make sure you stay safe be blessed and get out there on two wheels people deuces this was a fun ride i finally got to have some fun on my bike since i got the kit installed but now I'm cold as shit, so yeah, time to go home.